Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you three practical everyday uses for AI. We're going to start with food, then go to interior design, a big help for me, and then one for the kids. And we are going to be using ChatGPT5 for this, but there are so many different AI models out there and a lot of them are going to be able to do pretty much the same thing. And if you'd like to learn more about AI, I'm currently building a full course for that. You can check the link below this video to pre-register for it. You just submit your email and that's all. If you do that, I'll notify you when the course is released and you'll get an early sign up discount. So definitely check that out if you're interested in AI. It is, <laughs> if it's not already a part of your life, it's going to be very, very soon. And I think these three examples will help show you why. So let's start off with food. Now I made this example with my phone. So I took a photo of some food, uploaded it to ChatGPT, and then asked it a question. So I didn't do it here in my browser. And to do that, you just download the ChatGPT app and that's all you need. So I took a photo of this right here and I said, hey, I'm on a low carb diet. Tell me if this meal is acceptable. Also, tell me what's in it and its nutritional values. And the beautiful thing here, AI can identify exactly what this is. Now you'll see it's not perfect for everything in the photo, but what I care about, it is spot on. So let's see the reply. That dish is biscuits and gravy with sausage. It's a Southern style comfort food, but it's very high in carbs. Not good for a low carb diet. Here's a breakdown. It's amazing to see how much it can figure out from a single simple photo. So what's on the plate? Buttermilk, biscuits, sausage, and gravy. And it even identified the side salad and the salsa. Now it's not 100% perfect. This drink that it talks about looks like chocolate milk or a malt shake is actually a container of sugar for coffee. So it did not get that correct, but it got the main dish correct. And then it goes on down here to give me an estimate for the calories, seven to 900. All right, 50 to 60 grams of carbs. Okay, so definitely not good for my low carb diet. And we have a little verdict down here, not acceptable. So I told it to give me all of this information, but you could have said, just give me a yes or no. Should I eat this on my low carb diet? Yes or no. Or what is in this photo? Or down here, it even says if you want to make this meal low carb. So you could even say, I really like this meal, but it's not low carb. Help me make it low carb, but taste just as good. And there are even entire apps built around this, but you don't need to get an app. All you need to do is to take a photo of your food, put it in chat GPT and have it do whatever you want it to do. Tell you if it's acceptable for your diet, tell you how to replace ingredients, tell you how many calories are in it, whatever you need it to do. Hey, is there a lot of processed food in this? I haven't actually tried that one, but that's pretty interesting for me. And I feel like it could do a pretty good job of explaining that. So this is the first example very helpful for all of us who are on the go eating all sorts of food out and about. Now let's go to the next example. Another one I find just so helpful because I am not good at interior designing. So once again, chat GPT five, this one says fast, but I don't think it's really going to matter that much for what we need. It's very easy for AI to do. So I have a nice, simple, basic room right here. I uploaded the photo and I said, you are an expert interior designer. Change the curtains to blue. We'll cover a few different prompts here. Personally, I don't mind the look of this room, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'd be single if my room looked like that. So we take the photo, change the curtains to blue. Now we have blue curtains, but it actually doesn't look very good. So let's continue. Make the bed look nice and cozy. Now I don't exactly know how to make a bed look nice and cozy, so I'm not going to give it specific instructions, but thankfully, AI will help. So now we have a nice and cozy bed and the curtains are a more normal blue as well. And we have some matching colors. Then let's go down here. Redesign the rest of the bedroom so that it looks nice. Is clean but functional, but also has a cozy element to it. Also add a small desk with a chair for some work and a nightlight. I need a design that I can implement or that a woman would tolerate. How about that? <laughs> 
Now we have an issue. It has changed our photo. That's definitely not our room. I don't think we can make it wider. So we have to redo this, but it's done a lot. Looks pretty nice. So what I have here is the prompt that I just mentioned, then redo the last image, then do not change the size of the room or perspective of the photograph from the original. Once I tell it uh, that, there we go. A nice, beautiful, cozy room. And we could continue this. So that's the end of this, but we have this, which came from uh, this. All with AI, all without knowing exactly what we want. And we could have combined everything into one prompt to get the final image a bit more quickly, but I wanted to go through it and show you that you can change individual elements or the entire room. For people like me, this is an amazing use of AI. I love it. But now let's go to the final example. This one is for kids. We are going to make a coloring book. So make a coloring book that shows a safari in Africa and includes these animals, a lion, giraffe, elephant, hippo. And there we go. And we even have some smiles. <laughs> A nice happy photo and down here we can download it and then directly print it for some kids to color. Down here make a version with thicker lines. I said so it's easier for younger kids to color but they are probably not going to have trouble with the first one. Maybe I need the second one with thicker lines. The point is check it out we have the same image just slightly different with thicker lines and we could go on and on and on. Add more animals, remove animals, change whatever you need to change. Perfect. Download the file, print it, and you're good to go. So that is three practical examples for using AI. We've got a coloring book, we've got interior designs, and we've got food. Tell me what it is, what's in it, and if I can eat it for my diet. If you want to learn more about AI, make sure to sign up for our AI course. Link below the video, and it's not released yet, but if you sign up using that link, so you input your email, remember you will get a notification when the course is released and you will get a discount for early sign up. That's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please subscribe, hit the bell icon and give us a thumbs up. It will really help us out. Thank you very much and have a great day.